welcome back to my book corner for another story time with me, Rockin' Ryan. Now, today is not just Monday, it's also day one of our Julia Donaldson week. Now, I have chosen some of my favourite Julia Donaldson stories, or they've already heard a few of them. And also, I've got some special requests that some of you guys have made that I will be reading and dedicating to you this week. And today, we're going to start with one of my favourite stories of hers and it's called Monkey Puzzle and it's all about a little monkey who's lost his mum with the help of a little butterfly hopefully they'll be able to find them should we find out let's turn on those listening ears click get nice and comfy oh because here is today's story Monkey Puzzle by Julia Donaldson here we go I'm very excited Oh, I've lost my mum. Hush, little monkey. Don't you cry. I'll help you find her, said Butterfly. Mm, let's have a think. How big is she? Oh, she's big, said the monkey. Bigger than me. <gasps> Bigger than you. But I've seen your mum. Come, little monkey. Come, come, come. Is that the mummy? I don't think so. No, 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 that's an elephant. My mum isn't a great grey hunk. She hasn't got tusks or a curly trunk. She doesn't have great thick baggy knees. And anyway, her tail coils around trees. <gasps> she coils around trees. Oh, then she's very near. Quick little monkey, she's over here. No, no, no. That's a... What is it? That's right. That's a snake. Oh, Mum doesn't look a bit like this. She doesn't slither about and hiss. She doesn't curl around a nest of eggs. And anyway, my mummy's got more legs. Oh, it's legs we're looking for now, you say. I know where she is then. Come this way. What is it this time? Oh bit like in yesterday's story. No, 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 that's a spider. Oh, mum isn't black and hairy and fat. She's not got so many legs as that. She'd rather eat fruit than swallow a fly. And she lives in the treetops way up high. Oh, she lives in the trees? You should have said, your mum is hiding above your head. No, 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 that's a parrot. Well, Mum's got a nose and not a beak. She doesn't squawk and squabble and shriek. She doesn't have claws or feathery wings. And anyway, my mum leaps and springs. Aha, uh -huh. I've got it. She leaps about. She's just round the corner without a doubt. Oh, no, no, no. That's a frog. Oh, butterfly, butterfly, please don't joke. Mum's not green and she doesn't croak. Oh, she's not all slimy. Oh, dear. What a muddle. Well, she's brown and furry <laughs> and nice to cuddle. Ah, brown fur. Why didn't you tell me so? We'll find her in no time. Off we go. Oh, that's not a monkey, is it? What's that? <gasps> that's right. No, no, no. That's a bat. Oh, why do you keep on getting it wrong? Mum doesn't sleep the whole day long. I told you she's got no wings at all. And anyway, she's not nearly so small. Your mum's not little. Hmm, let me think. She's down by the river, having a drink. No, no, no. That's the elephant again. Oh, butterfly, butterfly, can't you see... None of these creatures look like me. Well, you never told me she looks like you. Well, of course I didn't. I thought you knew. Well, I didn't know. Uh, I couldn't, you see. Well, none of my babies look like me. Because we all know, don't we, the baby butterflies are caterpillars. So, she looks like you. Well, if that's the case... We'll soon discover her hiding place. 
No, no, no. That's my dad. Come, little monkey. Come, come, come. It's time I took you home to mum. And look. There they are, all together, mummy, daddy, and baby. And that is the end. That is one of my favourite Julia Donaldson books. And it's a book that not everybody has heard before. So I thought I would bring it to my book corner to share it with you. I wonder if you've heard that story before. If you haven't, you have now. And we also learnt... The baby butterflies aren't little tiny mini ones flying around. No, a baby butterfly starts its life as a caterpillar. Who knew? Now, I think it's time that we all have a great big sleep. All ready for Tuesday. So let's all close our eyes nice and tight. No snoring. And I will see you back here for day two of our Juliet Donaldson Marathon. But for now, see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you.